The first that I would like to talk about is full transportable export import. This is a way that you can use data pump together with transportable table space to make the process easier. The creation of metadata has become a lot easier if you use full transportable export import. In this example, we have a 12102 database that I would like to migrate into a 19C PDB. This is one of the advantages of using transportable table spaces you can go to a higher version and a different architecture. But if you prefer, you can stay on 12102 and migrate into a non-CDB database. You get the full flexibility with transportable table spaces. In this example, we have a system table space and a data table space in our source database. Normally, you would have a lot more table spaces, sysargs, undo, and other user table spaces as well. But for simplicity, in this example, I only have this system table space and my data table space where I store all the user data. In my target system, I only have a system table space because I haven't created any user data there yet. I haven't migrated into that database yet. You'll notice the colors are different to represent that they are of a different Indian format. When I need to migrate the database, I start by setting the data table space in read only. The source database is still online, but since the user data table space is read only, it does in effect mean that I have downtime. I can then copy the data files to the target database. I can then use RMAN to convert the data file, but please be aware that the conversion happens while while Armin copies the file to a new location. So if you have a five terabyte data file, you need an additional five terabyte to hold a copy of the data file that you can eventually use in your target database. This is one of the downsides of using this approach. You need double the amount of disk space. After that, I can start data pump and use full transportable export import to plug in my table spaces into the database. And after that, I can import all the metadata from the source database into the target database. When I say all the metadata, bear in mind that I already have all the, the table data. I already have all the index structures stored in my table space. So what I need to import is users, grants, triggers, PLSQL, and so forth, which is much quicker than doing a full import. So Normally, this doesn't take that long. But I told you that we had downtime and then we had to copy the entire data file. I guess that really won't fly well with your 100 terabyte database. But this is where full transportable export import with incremental backups come into play. So we have the same scenario, 12102 database and a 19C PDB. We have the same set of table spaces, but we don't set the data table space read only yet. First, we create a level zero image file backup. And when we restore that in our target system, Armand can convert the data file at the same time. But like with the previous example, we need to have enough room in the storage system to hold a copy of the data file. Then you can do an additional level one incremental backup and apply the latest changes from the source database to the data files on the target system. And you can do an additional level one and you can keep doing that as often as you like. For each incremental backup you perform, the faster the, the final incremental backup will be. Because now it's, Sunday morning, it's time to complete the migration. So we start by setting the data table space in read only. Now we have downtime on our system. I then perform a final level one incremental backup. So I take all the changes from the source database and put them into the data files on the target system. Now I can start data pump and use full transportable export import to plug in the data files complete the migration by transferring all that metadata into the target database. So it's more or less the same process, but we use incremental backups to keep the downtime at a very minimal.